Hello everybody, this is Richard Stutzman with Kingdom Flame Ministries as well as Freedom Sessions. And just got off a session a few minutes ago and just felt in my heart to uh, share with you um, what this young person was going through. And it really uh, um, bothered me to some aspect of it. But that's just one of the things as when you do bring internal healing to people's lives and show them their identity in Jesus Christ, at times you come across things uh, uh, that God, the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus wants to address, to put people back together, to take the shattered fractures of people's lives that they have gone through, and to make people whole. You know, God is in the restoration business, and Isaiah, he says, by his stripes we are healed. He also puts things back together again. And so as we were going through it, my wife and I, April, in one of the freedom sessions, um, um, the Lord just spoke to me and just said to me, you need to have her to look in the mirror and say, I love you, or I love myself. So um, and in the beginning, I, I did it as a cutesy type of thing. And as I said it, I said, you just need to look in the mirror and say, I love myself. And as I said it out loud, she kind of chuckled. And as I said it again, Holy Spirit said, you are being cute, but your cuteness is the truth. And I'm like, all right, Holy Spirit, what's the next thing you want to say? And he said, you need to let her know, whether you're a male or a female, and uh, you're going through some tough times in your life of loving yourself or who you are, uh, the inside and out, love is both. It is the outward, but it's also on the inside. And sometimes what how people uh, view themselves on the inside is how people uh, interact with people, how people do things that, that you probably should not do, uh, make mistakes, sin, etc. And God wants to, to bring healing internally, the mind, the will, and the emotion. God is a holistic God. He's not a fractured. He's not scattered. He doesn't think one way, one way, and changes his mind. He's consistent of his love nature, the DNA, who is in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says that by his stripes that we are healed, and it is the DNA of Christ's love. And so I'm just going to share something with you. And the Lord said, you go into your bathroom, and uh, I want you to look into your mirror and say to yourself, I love myself. Self, you good looking. <laughs> Self, I love you. I love you on the inside. I love you on the outside. You know, and God wanted to do this. And then later on during the session, I man, I, this just kind of broke my heart. And, and I shared with her a person who went through uh, um, a different trauma in her life. And the Lord spoke to me and said, damaged goods. She's viewing herself as damaged good. And I know when I was young, and my mom was young and, you know, we had young kids and she was a single mother. We would go to a store specialized in damaged goods because of the discount that you could get. Or in the grocery store, you go to the end of the aisle and they'll have a discount clearance of damaged goods. And uh, we would still use it. It still was on the inside. It was still perfect. It was still edible. It was still delicious. You know what I mean? And so... On the inside of the can, it looked awesome. It tasted great. But on the outside of the can, it had its dents of life. That between shipment, between production, between the truck driver, between delivery, between the person put it on the shelf, it became damaged. And so from your conception, for you being born, uh, to life struggles, trauma taking place uh, in people's um, uh, people's lives, their mind, the mind, the will, the emotion, and then you get in an adolescent, then you get teenagers, and then you do some crazy stuff that you may do, and it affects you for eternity until God gets a hold of you to know who Jesus Christ is and his identity of who you are. And so I'm going to pray with you, but before I do, if you want to check us out, I'm going to be having some testimonies on our, uh, on our website. It's called kingdomflameministries.com forward slash deliverance. Uh, check it out. And if you sign up, what we do is we will send you a, uh, an email uh, with information regarding the sessions and things of that nature. And so, um, and so I believe that part of the kingdom, the mandate, is not only to save people, 
but he wants to clean us up. So as much as I love revivalists, as much as I love evangelism, as much as I love going overseas myself, God is in the cleaning up business. He takes stinky fish. You know, God has called the fishers of men. There's a reason why he calls it the fishers of men. Because he, he, he's catching in the net all sorts of fish. All sorts of different races coming together in the kingdom of God. Because he wants to clean up not only the salvation, not only the vocal part of your side, but he wants to clean what's coming out, what's deep within your heart. Because that is really what matters. It's not necessarily always what comes in. The Bible says what comes out of a man that is who he is. And so the Bible also says in the, in the heart there is wickedness. Who can trust? And so it is a play on words, but I believe this. That as we know the Father, our identity, our Lordship, and who Abba Father is, it changes our identity. So, so Lord, I just declare and decree, Father, if there's a young man, there's a young woman, Father, right now, there's even an older man and older women. We've done sessions with, with folks with, in their 60s and 70s that have gone through abortions, have gone through uh, horrible uh, sexual abuse, uh, just horrible addictions in their lives that they're unable to break off That uh, in these sessions. Lord, I declare and decree, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that you would take off the labels. Every label that has been assigned to any person, I break that off by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. I command those demonic evil spirits be broken off of you. I command every spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, spells, hex, curses. I break them off of your mindset right now in the name of Jesus. And any spirit of heaviness, we command it to go right now by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. Be loose. Lord, I declare and decree, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. You tell us, you tell the woman, God, go and sin no more. Lord, you do not recall our past because the blood of Jesus Christ that applies and it cleanses us like bleach to a shirt. It cleanses that stain. It cleanses us. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we declare and decree, Father, right now that, Lord, we are not called damaged goods but we are awesome goods in the arsenal of the marching of the Lord Jesus Christ who has called us forth to march in the kingdom in the last days of great revival and harvest. Lord, we declare and decree, Father, freedom, liberty, and justice for everyone, for, they, for them to walk in their destiny that you have called them in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, check us out. Go over to kingdomflameministries.com. Hit the deliverance tab. Uh, if you're interested, if not, if this has been a blessing, you want to sow into Kingdom Flame Ministry, just go over to our website and hit the uh, button over there. We would really appreciate it, and uh, we'll keep on our truck and talk to you later. Bye.